Should we do a haul? It's a book. It's a book. Do you know what book? Do you know what book? <laughs> Phony, amazing. Had an amazing mushroom trip the other day and have been microdosing since then. Nice, nice. Let's crack this open. I bought this baby. Check this out. Check this out. I it was listed at $15. I did what, you know, add to my watch list. Within an hour, I got on sale for $10. So I pressed the button and bought it. Shipping was Now we check the shipping on it. Now we check the shipping. I took a few days to load up everything. Not everything, but many things on this new computer so I could access it all. I paid, I paid, I paid, I paid. Doo, doo. Oh, where we go? Hold on, hold on. I paid a few order details. Don't let me want a lot. Nice. Nice. Check this out. It was, it was the total. This book cost. This book cost. Check this out. Seventeen dollars all in. It was ten dollars U.S. plus a little bit of taxes and six dollars for shipping. Okay. Great deal. I hope. The seller, their rating wasn't that great. They were like a major seller, huge seller, right? But you know they were at 98.2 percent or something like this right and i looked at their reviews and it was just it's a warehouse selling just dumping books right yeah big ash bug on your computer so i decided to pull the trigger they sent the right book uh, I read the reviews and a lot of people were saying you sent me the wrong book I was like man I hope they don't send me the wrong <laughs> book <laughs> check this out check this out do you know what book do you know what book yes you do yes you do and it's in really good shape what a what a great buy oh this thing is in great shape holy schmolies look at this dm turner the essential psychedelic guide <laughs> yeah i'm smoking a cuban vigueros 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 yeah phony 17 dollars and change for this us amazing deal amazing deal as you know i've been collecting these nice got to love warehouses got to love warehouses that are dumping products right phony i wish cubans were legal yeah phony you should be able to get some if you look in the right places hey oh oh shit the fucking, this thing was going in into the computer the little bugger i killed it He's trying to make his way into the computer. What the F? <laughs> no, we can't kill this computer. I just bought it. <laughs> Have I ever done ayahuasca? I haven't done ayahuasca. I've done salvia divinorum. And you want to see the cannabis plant? Holy camoles. Gang. We read page 69 in this book. There are... We won't look at the biography. There are 109 pages in this book. What page should we read? Let's read a page from this. While you decide, I'm going to show you one of the cannabis plants we have. One of them we have to take down. It was a male. We, we executed the male. I'll show you the stems for it. Let me show it to you. Page 82, Nicholas says. Check this out.
here are the stems, right? I keep these because they dry, they become hard. So you can use them for plants, to manage plants and stuff. Like hemp, that's pretty good, right? But check out this one I'm about to pull out. It's really bushy and we know it's a female. We trimmed the bottom parts, the, the branches, right? But it still like ended up getting really bushy. So this is gonna give a lot of buds. I might cut off some of the bottom ones more so the energy goes up to the top, right? But look at this thing. Right. So bushy so bushy right awesome awesome hopefully uh, it tastes good i forget what the actually let me tell you what the name of it is it's uh it's a thornsberry thornsberry plant cannabis super good i'm gonna harvest some grapes should we take down some grapes first before we do the reading check this out this part was more in the sun and this part was less so it's not as uh it's not as uh dark right it's what do you call it polarizing so in the sun it gets darker or should we do a reading let's do a reading first because it's related to cannabis. Mm -hmm. Nicholas says page 82. Let's read page 82. Ah, super delicious smoke. <laughs> oh my God, camera falling on, he must be a clone. <laughs> he, lo he loves freedom. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Arnold, he's a he's a clown. Gang, let's read page eighty-two of the Essential Psychedelic Guide by D. M. Turner. Okay, as Nicholas requested. Page eighty-two. Oh, look at this. It's the song's title. Self-development on numerous fronts. Let's see what uh, section this is in. This is... Oh, look at the titles on this. Hold on. Let me find the chapter. Oh, nice. <laughs> so page 70. So this is page 82, right? Page 82 self-development of numerous on numerous fronts right page 79 is further exploration where do we go from here okay and then it has numerous headings the legalization of drugs and healing society's view of substance use and gang while we're doing this do not forget do not forget Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. The next subheading for this is affinity for oneself and others next one is applications of natural recognition of humanity's smallness and of our being an internal integral part of the universe serious headings right 
and then we get to page 82 and we're going to read the whole page because page 82 is self-development on numerous fronts and then the next chapter next subheading is tapping tapping normally dormant abilities of our of our what of our minds and developing ultra consciousness very cool serious stuff serious stuff and the last subheading for this is the role of psychedelics in future societies and then it goes into a new section DMT water spirit a magical link nice phony I finally took my first heroic dose of mushrooms a couple of weeks ago it was like I was disassociated from my thoughts and managed to observe them as if I was a third party very cool very cool hmm still going we're gonna smoke a cigar Cuban I'm gonna have a sip of Glenn Levitt 14 year old cognac cask finish I'm gonna read a little DM Turner page 82 of the essential psychedelic guide by DM Turner self-development on numerous fronts psychedelics can help the user develop in many ways the primary development that tends to occur is a general broadening of perspectives and life experience each time one embarks on a psychedelic voyage the familiar mode of viewing the world is temporarily set aside and the voyager has a chance to view life with the filters of conditioning removed although a new filter is created as a psychedelic state fades the trippers post session reality should be permanently changed at least to a small degree after a psychedelic trip one has the vantage point of having experienced life as though he or she had been a different entity one's filter of conditioning should become less biased as one experiences life through a multitude of viewpoints it is also likely for trippers filter to become less rigid as he or she welcomes familiar welcomes familiar with its undying fluid fluid fluidity it is not uncommon for f psychedelic users to come to the realization that what they have called reality is but an arbitrary view of life the next step in this sequence in it is is acknowledgement that one's experience of life can be con consciously changed to their will for me this has resulted in an expansion of my ability and what i consider possible to do psychedelics should also expand one's ambitions and desire to obtain the most out of life once you've experienced heaven it is difficult to remain satisfied with a mediocre state of existence for one's life to be strongly affected by psychedelics it is usually necessary to make the insights gained during the psychedelic experience part of their regular frame of mind this requires some type of follow-through after one's journey possibly a spiritual or psychological practice that will help avoid slipping back into routine patterns this can take much more effort than the psychedelic experience itself but the rewards can be well worth the effort the ability of psychedelics to stimulate artistic creativity is well known the cultural revolution that began in the 60s has many outstanding examples in the psychedelics encyclopedia peter stafford describes several surveys of art surveys of artists who tried psychedelics and how it affected their work okay that's page 82 we're going to read this book at some point 
from front to back. Okay. Awesome. Great buy. Very happy with it. $17 all in, including shipping and taxes. Amazing deal. Amazing deal.